Hi, I'm David Brown. Today I'm going to talk about three mistakes that rookie storytellers make fairly typically. Well, number one would be a rookie tends to be naive, too little experience, lacking in depth. And you correct this by uh, asking around, reading, talking to people, and preparing. You can't really prepare enough. You've really got to see what's already been said and keep asking questions. Find out how different aspects of the story come together and work. But really, check to see what else is out there. Uh, check every fact. You'd be surprised what you take for granted or what you think is uh, everybody agrees on. It's not necessarily so. Choose your uh, sources carefully. Go to reliable academic institutions, reliable news organizations, uh, people with the highest highest uh, reputation, and check several times. National Geographic, typically in the days that I was there, would check facts three, from three different uh, credible sources. And this is what you need to do. So check the facts, check the context, context, context of it. And get different perspectives. You know there's a saying, there are three sides to every story. Your side, my side, and the truth. It's a joke, but there's there's a lot of truth in it. Because depending on your perspective and your experience of that particular story, you do have a different way of looking at things and of experiencing life and what that story really is all about. To include those different perspectives in the story, it's really important to understand the other side of what you're writing or photographing. And then ultimately, of course, become the expert. You are the expert of your story because you have done the research. You have spoken to people. You have made lots of interviews. And eventually, you distill it down. And I would go further, even though uh, it's not encouraged in journalism school to get your stories checked by the people you interview. Maybe at least you get the quotes that you attribute to them. Just run them by them or get somebody to run them by. I would often ask somebody that I really trust to look at a story that I have prepared, some expert in the field, just to give me feedback. And invariably, I would get very good suggestions. So these are the kinds of mistakes you learn from making them yourself. Every journalist does make these mistakes, and you apologize and move on, but you try not to make them.